In honor of Women's History Month, we've been talking with female leaders in sports, politics, business, and entertainment. And this morning, we are focusing on... Every Friday during Women's History Month, long we've been celebrating women's history month by talking with female leaders in sports politics business and entertainment and this who is black and interested in black people, let us sit down and find out how we can get together in one direction against one enemy and accomplish this job overnight. When soul singer and black activist Sam Cooke wrote the lyrics to his song, A Change Is Gonna Come, it was very direct and to the point. With some changes to it, the song was still digestible. In the year 2019, Black folks continue to go through the change rather than direct the change. A community activist named Talik Ibn Rod has made an appeal similar to what Sam Cooke was asking for. A change. It's said that the meek shall inherit the earth. We ask when. When will the landlords give the meek a free lease? Mr. Ibn Rod is humbly asking for the state of Mississippi. President Trump has already had sit-downs with the wrong representatives of the black community. How about a real discussion with a true grassroots African-American? Join and organize Operation Exodus Mississippi today or become a supporter. This is Dusty Basement Studios, and we approve of this message.
There we go. I don't have a lot to say. Come to see Terry. That's Terry, Cindy, and Rona. I trust that feeling. Does anybody have any questions of me before I get out of here? Let's see what you guys are saying. What's up, Soul Sister Rona? Hey, Talik. I'm the brother that did my, uh, Mike Jackson in Tunica, Mississippi. Hey, now. Uh, hello to Terry. Respect. Bless up. Bless up. Bless up. Come to see Terry. That's Terry, Cindy, and Rona. It's Terry. It's important for the black youth especially to know that, that we did have a history and that we did great things and that we had great people and those things were not in the history books when I was in school. And um, what I'd like to be doing five years from now is attempting to rewrite the history books so that they'll know that.
Rev G, nah, nah, listen, listen, listen up, bro. All this aside, right? Yo, Rev, I applaud you, my nigga, bro. Like, you really like, like, say, yo, like, fuck all that shit, bro. I, 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 I'm calling in and going to war and talking my shit. Nah, bro, listen, listen up, bro. Yo, like, yo, nah, listen though. Like, you a real nigga, right? You know, bro, right? Um, bro, can you come crazy? Won't do that. Let it honor. Won't do that, right? Feel me, yo, right? So, so if if like Rev G like caught in just to like talk his shit and like you know and come at you, bro, yo, bro, hey man, yo, Rev a real one for that, bro. Yeah, he, I mean, I, I was shocked that he he wanted to do that, but hey, he you know he he wanted to do it. I mean, I didn't, we didn't have to do that. Just the fact that we we would have this debate. What was to me enough for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, th that was enough for anybody to be like, you know, hell. I mean, that was a treat in itself. But you hard know, code. Okay, yeah, what's um, up? Hey, man. Hey, so hard code. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, speaking of debates, uh, Mr. Durrell, you know, it would be a nice idea to have that Operation Exodus Mississippi guy on so that people could debate his uh, philosophies and his ideas on that. Is that Dr. Rogue? Oh, no, yeah. no. Oh, that's no, it's not. I thought that was him. Yeah, you know what? I I actually emailed Doctor. Uh, I mean, uh, I I emailed Angel up and up. Um, I saw his show last week, man, and I was supposed to actually get him on this weekend, but I I kind of missed out on that. I'm gonna actually get. I'm gonna actually email him. He up for debate. He always up for that. Okay, because I've been, you know, you want to debate? Oh debate? yeah, oh, oh yeah. Well, I really want to ask questions though, but it'll turn into a debate. And you talk about some excitement. That'll be some excitement. <laughs> but I'm sure. I'm sure that he'll turn it down. Okay. <laughs> oh no, no, I, I don't think he's gonna turn it down. I think he's gonna do it. Now, nah, trust uh, me, my man, my man's been running for the last few years because he doesn't like answering right questions. Right? Yeah, oh, really? he, yeah, he doesn't like answering questions. That's why I'm coming here because I'm banned oh, wow. from his so-called channels. <laughs> oh, you banned? Yeah, because he doesn't like the questions I ask. I didn't know that. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, I take my man to task about the the merits of this so called Mississippi campaign that he can't explain. Now, my thing is this, man. He, I'm gonna be honest with you. When it comes to the parameters of executing the Mississippi campaign, he ain't no different from conscious energy. He don't have no. You want all these black people to go to Mississippi? You, we ain't got no infrastructure, no businesses. Of all states, Mississippi, the racist, the most racist <laughs> uh, state of them all. But they got the most black people. It has the, the highest percentage of black people. Uh, so I understand why he would say that. But but black people in Mississippi are doing hard. Right. And the funny part is he said he is not moving to Mississippi at all. That's the funny part about oh, it. Oh, hey, queen. Oh, shit. Hey, lovely looking. Beautiful. How you doing? He is not moving to Mississippi at all. That's the funny yeah. All right, baby. You be good. <laughs> oh, wow. See, that's what I'm talking about. 
We, we, y'all talk about Stargate. We, we, we need, we don't, you're talking about Stargate when I got Uppity to come up and give some eye candy to the, to the platform? That's some powerful <laughs> weave right there. God damn. No, 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 that's her real hair. That's her real hair. Oh, that's, that's, that's real weave. No, that's real, baby. <laughs> I, I know. That's that's all real. She all uh, natural. Okay. Ain't nothing fake about her. <laughs> nothing at all, man. All right, that's wow. Cool. Oh, she loves Yeah. It. <laughs> yeah, she just wanted to come in and say hey to everybody. Yeah, but my man, you know, he, he says uh, you, you, he's not moving to Mississippi, which to me tells me that if the thing is so good and you don't want to move there, it can't be too good. <laughs> yeah. It's the same way when you got that other crew, they call themselves the BAIO, and they claim that they're trying to move to Africa. They've been saying that for the last, what, five, ten years. And then the B A I O. Let me tell you something about the B the B O. What is the B A I O? Yeah, the B A I O been talking shit about infrastructure in Africa for the longest. And 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 matter of fact, I remember guy. I forgot the guy name. Uh, have you ever heard of Dino Dino, Dino Samir? Yeah, yeah, he, he knows me. <laughs> B A I O. The B A I O used to go on Dino Samir back in uh. 16 and 17, they used to interview with him a lot, talking about infrastructure and doing this and doing that. And they haven't built a goddamn thing. Yep, that whole lip guy and uh, Kayla Genesis, they see that there are other, there are more people who don't like answering questions. They give you uh, uh, disrespect and everything uh, when you just ask the basic question is like, when are you moving? They claim to be professionals and they have money, but then when you ask them, when are you moving to Africa? Oh, as soon as I get some money, they're not moving. But they ain't got no money. That's why, because they they don't have answers. See, that's the problem, man. Like you guys are coming up with these idealistic ass, infamous ass um, uh, mindsets, grandiose, um, you know, things that you want to do, and you don't even have a framework in how you're going to execute that plan. And, and to be honest with you, black folks are not looking for cross the eyes, crop cross the T's and dot your eyes. We just want to know the basic shit about it. Just basic right. steps. We, we ain't asking for every minute process. We just want to know, give us a, a roundabout summary of the plan. Right, something that's, gonna make, something that's going to make us want to get involved, you know? Exactly. But you can't even give them that. So why should they, why should anybody want to want to uh, invest in something or, or Make a life changing move with uncertainty because that's what you're asking people to do. You're asking people to make a life long, a life changing decision with no certainties. Right. Who, that's, who the that? that's the key. That's the key. You said life changing. Life changing. And then, and, and, hey, I. I'm all for black people doing life changing shit that's going to benefit us, but you have no certainties. You have no securities. You have no infrastructure. You have no businesses. You have no contacts in Africa from a business or governmental standpoint. So you're asking people to do, to basically almost commit suicide. Right. And, and most importantly, these people aren't even making the move. To no, set the example. Exactly. Man, if, if they if they had a project, let's say they had a a, 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 a a hundred building project in Africa with roads and little stores, that would be something to, to be like, okay, wow, we got something to go to. These Negroes ain't got nothing. They got no housing. They got no vehicles. No means of making. They just want people to, oh, we're going to, to Ghana. Right. We all just gonna go all together and live in a cum a, 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 a fucking um uh on a fucking um you know a, a fucking area secluded from everybody else. Right. And I keep telling them. Like, I, like I, said, cult. I said, there's no African country, no leader is gonna just give some free land and allow you to set up shop a nation in their country. <laughs> just like that. It doesn't matter how poor the country is. They're not just going to give away land like that and let you set up a nation within their nation. Unless you yeah, pay exactly. taxes. 
So, but this is the thing. This is the same thing with the Mississippi campaign. It's just like other uh, things that go on out here where people make big claims and they say, we want people to be free, but yet they don't know if people, people, they say, oh, okay, you might be comfortable in your living. They might be. <laughs> well, what, what people got to understand when you're dealing with black folks, and, and to me, to be honest with you, it ain't easy to fool black. It ain't hard to fool black people. But the problem is black people been fooled so often, we don't know who to believe. Right. All you have to do is show some truth to something working, and black people are going to be willing to do it. These fools don't even provide this. Let me an issue with them. This guy coming out talking about we should join the Mississippi campaign, right? I asked him questions. Is this an organization or religion? He didn't want to answer. How many members do you have? You don't even have no members. <laughs> no members. You have no people that you we, we, we just we just talk to people and they if they want to come, they can come. If they don't, they don't. So dude, you have no consistent following that we can draw from. Right. Like, if you had 50 people that joined, 25 people, 100 people, you have no consistency with, with, with integrating with other, interacting with other people to make this reality. Right. You got to do so something. So why should me, somebody in Texas, well, wherever, well I don't know, you sound like you're from the, you're from the East Coast? Or the yeah, East New Coast? York. Yeah. You're from New York. Why would you uproot yourself from New York to Mississippi without, they, they're not providing anything for you. Right. But you want me to give my money, which I don't mind doing. I don't mind investing my money into something. But you haven't provided anything worthwhile for me to even take that risk. It's no different from me going to Vegas and gambling. That's right. You know, and the fun it, it funny, part is, funny part is the guy is originally from Mississippi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the funny part. So he escaped Mississippi to go to St. Louis, the St. Louis area, because nothing's happening in Mississippi. But you want now you want other people to go, to go back, and you're not going back. <laughs> no, no, is that, so my thing is this: what I can say is this, man. I did my research on uh, Jackson, Mississippi. Man, yeah, Jackson, Mississippi, huh? Yeah, I did too. Yeah, man, in about eight to ten years, Jackson, Mississippi may be the next Atlanta. That's how, as far as black, it has a majority, it's a majority black city. There are a lot of black people moving to, to, to Jackson, Mississippi, and they're starting businesses. It's, it's starting to become another Atlanta. Now, Jackson, Mississippi has some hope. Now, as far as the rest of the other the state, all the other shit he's talking about, I don't, I don't know about that. Now, if he told me we, we should develop a base in Jackson, Mississippi. Oh, I'll be on that. What, 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 just like that. Remember that, uh, that those 18 families in Alabama, they bought, they bought like 100 acres of land. Oh, okay. So I think something like that. They've done that. They're trying to create a whole little subdivision, a little, little sub city area. Um, okay. See, now, but at least they actually put something on the table. Yeah. They put money. They, they actually bought the land. Now all they're doing right now is trying to get the, the water pipe, the water work, and all that different stuff. That's that's their next step. But they bought the land. Okay. They bought this, the land. It, yeah. Now you got one guy in the city. They bought land. That's making moves. That's something you can follow. But yeah. now you got a guy who is not putting up money, not putting up time, not putting up his body. But he wants you to go out there because he's repeated this over and over again. He said, "You go out and make it happen." I'm too old for this. I'm not uh, doing this. You do it, but it's man, your idea. Man, it's your idea. My thing is, you, see, this is the problem, man. It, it's the wrong people. The, the the people who should be doing these type of things are people that they won't listen to. Like, let, let me give you an example. Let's say I stated, man, I, I want to create um, mental health facilities to provide for, for black kids so that they don't have to get put on medication. Let's say I wanted to do a, a black mental health agency for every major city, right? Where I can train 
Not only do I train, not, not only will I provide services for black people for an affordable rate, I'm talking medication, counseling, therapy, interact, you know, all the services, but I'm also going to train social workers, therapists, psychologists, substance abuse counselors, psychiatrists. Now, let's say I did that, right? But, and I got one um, facility. Say, say I use my own facility, and, and I try to open up in uh, multiple cities, and I say I need community donations. This is going to be the uh, black-owned hospital, black-owned this and that. They would not follow me. They would not listen to me, man. They wouldn't do it. But they'll take a fool to come out there talking loud, talking crazy, They'll listen to that shit or they'll give that piece, they'll give that attention more than they would give a person that's already proven to be successful in the area. They'll they'll try to ask me all kind of dumb questions, try to, you know, vet me to death. And before you know it, I don't have the energy to do it. <laughs> I'm just and, being honest. Right. And see, but you know, you got when it comes to black people. There are people who know how to sell something without something. Then there are people who have something, they don't know how to sell it. Just like, I hate to say it, but a lot of black businesses, there are people out there who uh, will start a, a business, but they don't have any marketing, advertising skills. Hey, brother, brother up and up in here right now, man. He hearing you talk like that. You know, yeah, he's always... Lurking around, but he's never he never wants to take live questions because he's too afraid. How are you going to be trying to lead people somewhere? Now he'll say he's not a leader, but you want to lead people someplace, but yet you're too afraid to address the crowd. Come up, brother, up and up. Come up and talk to us. Have a discussion. I mean, strong leaders that want to get free. How are you going to tell people to get free if you're too afraid of the public? <laughs> right, right. I, I, it's just questions. That's all. So he says you let the show exploit you. You don't care nothing about you. You come up and speak for yourself. See, people yeah. call people trolls because they disagree or they can't refute what people say. Right. You got, you got the floor. The time. Man, look, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the biggest problem with my brother up and up with, and I think that this is where he's going wrong with. You can't be on the internet that makes up a, a lot of different pro black organizations and religions religious organizations along with people who practice certain types of religion and, and certain types of, you know, um, spiritual concepts and tell all of them you wrong. You should not believe in none of that mess, but you should follow me. You, you offending people. Number one, whatever they believe in shouldn't even matter. It don't matter if, if you are a Hebrew Israelite and I'm a Christian. This is about black people. No matter we have the, should have the right to practice whatever we want to. Why should we uh, just let that go do this and, you know, come follow me and I don't believe in nothing. I'll admit it's the nation of Islam. Bro, you can't go up in here offending the very people you're trying to bring into your organization. Right. See, that sounds like a cult type of situation, you know? Exactly. And that's what I told him. I said, man, y'all sound like a cult. Yeah, another thing, man, him and that lady, uh, whatever, a uh, sister something, when I nope. let them talk, man, they was trying to tell me on my platform, you need to listen to us and let us talk. We trying to tell you something. I'm like, excuse me, this this my <laughs> shit. <laughs> like now, I, I I was like, I like brother up and up. But I'm like, dude, I'm not gonna sit here and let y'all talk down on the black community about what right. they believe in. And he know that. Now, I'll like, tell you this. Oh, okay. Now nah, go ahead, because I mean, he knows that. I'm like, man, you, you shouldn't be talking bad about these people. I told the guy. Really I told the guy before. I said, you're a good speaker. Because he came from the Nation of Islam, you know, they, they teach people how to speak, uh, you know, so he knows how to excite the senses. But after a while, people keep hearing the same thing. I've been locked up for in the crazy house for 10 years. I uh, hate Farrakhan. Uh, I want to get free. Uh, the Mississippi campaign, after we keep hearing it over and over again with no action. When is the action going to take place? We are in, we, we, we are the guests. Yeah, you were to get, but but I'm the host, and being the host, the host has to have control and structure. I'm just not gonna let people just <laughs> say the hell they want to say. I do have hospitality. Come on, come on, Angel, up and up. You know better than that. Come on, yeah, man. he's Stop. being hospitable right now to me. Stop. See, Stop. What, he, what Stop, it is, if you if you if you look at his videos all over YouTube, you see 
what he does, he can't be friends with anybody. He always has to have a beef with somebody. He's supposed to go on Sinatra's show. That's what he said. Sinatra dissed to him. So he made a diss video about him. Morris uh, TV. <laughs> he went on his show. And he didn't uh, be able to do what he wanted to do. So he made a diss video about him. Uh, Sister Noble was with that Nepal. Uh, yeah, Sister Noble. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that yeah, didn't work out. You know yeah. why? I bet she tried to overtop Nepal, huh? I, I think so. That's exactly what he did. I know, yeah, I know what he did. Angel huh? Snup, no, he made a diss video on the paw. Why? And they, because she disrespected him. He ain't let, she didn't let him speak. So he made an uh, hour long diss video. That's what I'm saying. Well, why is it this thing about everybody who's supposed to let you speak just freely without them having control, man? You can't. Right, he can't you answer can't. questions. Yeah, you can't ask no question. What he want is somebody to put them on a platform and have a monologue for an hour, and you don't say nothing but just listen to them preach. That that's yeah. that don't that's not even good good video. That's not even that don't even constitute a good show. To right, allow you're supposed you to ask questions, talk, and I don't say nothing. You're supposed to ask questions and stop, and they won't work. <laughs> they they say, "You see, the nation of Islam, they taught you this. That shit don't matter. They ain't do nothing." And then the Hebrew Israelite and, and Jeremiah York and the Wapians and, and, and then, you know, the, the Moors, they didn't do this. And those people saying, crap, they don't do this. And then people believe in Jesus and then you believe it. Like, stop, man. You offending everybody that's watching you right now. Right, let, me tell you, let me tell you this. And I mm -hmm. respect our religions. But go ahead. I was the first one to interview Sister Noble before that Nepal jumped on. This guy said he was supposed to come on my show to be interviewed and explain his uh, Mississippi campaign. He said he was coming on. He lied to me. He never did. <laughs> he he said kept he lied. No, he really did. He lied. He, he never came on because he's afraid. He knows I'm going to ask the hardcore questions because I'm not letting anybody escape without asking the pertinent questions. The real questions. So that's why he keeps running and creating a fake beef and acting as if we have a problem because he does not want me asking questions. That's why he won't come on now, because he knows I'm going to ask questions, and when he can't answer them, he's going to look stupid in front of the people. That's the problem. That's crazy, man. Um, yeah. All I can say is that I, I got, I'm going to email him, because he'll, he'll come up, man. He's saying I, I, right I, now, I, remove me. That's what he's saying. He'll come on. Get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he's been on here twice and, and to be honest with you I should have had Angel up and up on here every week to be honest with you because oh, yeah. I know he, even if he doesn't answer my questions I want him to answer your people's questions <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say this the, 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 the first uh, interview we had people didn't really get him they didn't understand where he was coming from but that second he came on oh they was they was all in that shit the second interview, they was all in it, man. And so I should, I hadn't brought him on since. I come over there, and um, he posted my stuff. He had some reviews on me. I mean, we good, man. We cordial. I mean, I I, I love to have debates and, 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 and you know. Uh, he doesn't. He likes. He likes to say he has. Like he says right now, I came on his platform. He said he smashed me. He we never had it. The one. Uh, impromptu debate we had, he got destroyed because he can't deal with me. Nobody ever uh, beats me in a debate. That's number one. I don't care who you are. So <laughs> he can't, he knows that. That's why he fears me, but he has stage fright, which you can't, if you're trying to lead people someplace, you gotta, you gotta be brave. You can't be a scaredy cat. Man. You gotta be right, brave. Right. You know what I mean? So how are you gonna have an Operation Exodus and you can't articulate it to the people? Now there's See? another guy I'm sorry, there's another guy, uh, Maurice Muhammad. He has his uh, Mississippi yeah. initiative. He came on, right. he articulated right. it to the people. And everybody, right. his first appearance on my show, he looked horrible. <laughs> but he was brave enough to come back. He explained, okay. he explained his Mississippi initiative. People said, okay, now I'm with you. I'm with you, Muhammad. Instead of this guy, uh, Snup Nup, explaining his, he's trying to ride the coattails of Muhammad's uh, actual physical efforts and trying to combine it and acting like whatever Muhammad does, that's what he's doing, even though their philosophies are different on the whole matter. 
You know, because right. Muhammad is black first. Uh, Angel Snup Nup, he said, now here's what he said. He said, he's for freedom, justice, and equality for all people. All, not black. All. So that negates any Mississippi campaign need. If you're for right. all people, you might as well stay here, leave it as it is. And that's what he's doing because right. he's never going to do this Mississippi campaign. Now, now be honest with you, looking at it from a strategic standpoint, if that was a state that I would choose to want to have, if, if black people were given one state, Mississippi would be high on the list. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. It would have to be a southern state um, but that has good farmland. And Mississippi has a lot of good farmland. And, uh -huh. and they got some resources. Mississippi would be a state that I would choose. Um, and I'll actually, it, ain't, it ain't a bad choice. Right. The problem with Mississippi is the people, the backwards thinking, the racist people you got to deal with, the backwards thought. I mean, it's it's a lot of um, it, 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 it's, 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 it's a lot of stuff that you we would have to go through that you probably would not have to deal with in other states. Right. But it does now as far as farmland, the um, the the cheapness to start a business and starting off small and and to me. Mississippi is a state where you can start a business with, with nothing and build it up. Right. I mean, so I, it, it makes sense. It's cost effective. Um, it's near the Gulf of Mexico. They got all at the, in the south of it. Um, you know, uh, you got good farmland. You got some other minerals and resources and so forth. I mean, it's not a bad state. Right, lower it's population. It's just, it got a low population, but a low standard of living. Right, so I mean, yeah. I, it, like I told him, I said it's a good idea, but he, he had a three-year anniversary of it. I'm like, okay, well, it's been three years, but I mean, the only thing that's been happening so far is you still announcing it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> get to yeah. it. If if I start something, if I say, you know what, people, I got something great. You go there, it's gonna change your life. And I say, you go there, I'll meet you there in ten years. That's not gonna sound good. But if you see nope. me packing my bags and getting out of there right now, you're going to be like, oh, shit. I got to see what this is all about because he's going there. Put your own money into it, man. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I was actually thinking about doing a project, an all-black type of project. But um, it, it, I don't know if I want to, at this point in my career, do, do I want to extend the energy that it's going to take to do it. You know what I'm saying? It's going to take a lot of energy. Right. I want to give a shout out to Muslim for the $10 cash out. Appreciate that. Go, go ahead, brother. Okay, yeah. See, my man keeps saying remove the so-called troll. See, I, this is what I keep trying to do with this guy. I'm trying to get this guy to be brave. If you can't face, he calls me faceless trash. <laughs> what he calls, he'll tell everybody there's sore rats and, and uh, losers. Yeah. And I guarantee you, you disagree with him or say something he doesn't like, he'll make diss videos about you. He already uh, sneak dissed you already in a few videos. <laughs> Yeah, so he's gonna do all. Out. He's gonna go all out. So um, I keep trying to get this guy to be brave to erase his fears. But see, when you don't want to uh, arrest your fears, then what you're really trying to do is you're trying to let it be known that you don't plan on doing anything with this Mississippi campaign. People who are serious, they're not gonna wait three years from conception to uh, getting busy. Once you come up with the concept, you start getting busy. What I'm gonna say to this man, the best way, man, if you're gonna do something like that, you gotta show you're financially vested in it. Like, you gotta show that you got something. It don't have to be great, it don't have to be huge, but just you gotta just show you doing something, something is functional for black people to give their money. All it has to all you have to show is something that's functional. It don't even have to matter the quality that it's operating, but if is it functional? Because black people are willing to take a chance on something functional, right? As far as that, them giving it money, but but if you ain't got shit, 
If, if you try, if, if you try to do all that, it's gonna be a problem. Now I say this between the Mississippi campaign. Are you listening, uh, Angel? Between the Mississippi campaign and the BAIO, obviously the Mississippi campaign is something black people would be more willing to do because we're not going to no Africa, <laughs> some strange land with some strange wildlife. <laughs> yeah, was, well, my thing with this, man, like going to Africa is not a bad thing, but my thing is this, man, same thing in Africa, man. Um, and I talked about this. I, I have an African channel called uh, Burkina Faso Casino TV. Um, and that's I looked up my 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 actual African ancestry, and I got a show that talks about African issues, particularly in Burkina Faso and and on the continent. But my thing is that if I'm trying to do a repatriate back to Africa, I need to already have something in place so when people come there, they have something to look forward to and they can transition. People are not willing to already take the risk of going from a first world country. The, the, the tip, the top of the world to going to something that's at the bottom of the world. That's a, that's too big of a of a change in lifestyle and don't know what the hell I'm going to eat. In, in, I'd in always the tell people living in projects in this country is better than living in, in uh, middle class man, in Africa. Man, no, no, forget middle, upper middle class. Oh, shit. <laughs> man, really, if you look at the flats, like it's in England, a flat, uh, I've seen a flat in England is like the standard. A one bedroom, one bath, six hundred five to six hundred square foot. Neat man, I've seen people that got section eight housing living in a five bedroom, two bathroom, two bathroom house. Mm. Come on, man! It, it ain't even. It ain't even. That ain't even. Come on, man! They got people that's that's that got fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars section eight voucher. Living like they're in an upper middle class uh, level. The Africans can't even build, build a, a paved road yet with yeah, lines on. They don't have the money. I mean, the, the, now what Africa, let me, say, let me tell you this, man. All African countries have to do is offer us citizenship. Offer us free citizenship and allow us to use our money in a manner that we can. Um, Make sure that the rules and the laws and so forth can be in a way that we can invest and make money, and we'll be willing to do it. You have to make it. You have to make it economically viable for us to do it. But you have to give us citizenship. You have to allow us to have some type of governmental influence so that we can make the money and then develop the country. But to see the That's population the of whatever country, they're not going to go for that. Exactly. So my thing is. I don't want to hear this stuff about Josh, we, we, we should come to Africa and invest. Yes, we should. There's a lot of there's a lot of opportunities there. And Africa has a young population. They have over 200 million people with ages of 15 and 29. It's a young population. Um, 20, 20 billion people. You have a young workforce. The standard of living is, 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 is very low and the American dollar goes Tenfold. Why standard huh? <laughs> there ain't no standard living. Huh? There ain't no standard living. I mean, I mean, that, that's certain. But like Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa, they have decent. Like, yeah, but South Africa, I just miss South Africa because that's a white structure. Yeah, no, but 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 they they there's certain countries, but you got something to work with. So you see well, this guy saying he's going to he's going to lie tomorrow. See, he'll go live tomorrow and talk behind your back, but when you're right here, my man ain't got nothing to say. Hey, man, I, I, that, that's how he operate. What's up, we on lock? <laughs> Boom. Just bummed. Why are you bummed? Um, well, as I stated before, Rome was... I was just happening to have a quick fangirl moment. Like, seriously. I've heard him before. I mean, he came in a couple times, like, months ago, I think, or month, over a month ago. And um, I know when Angel up and up first began doing interviews with me, he, he kind of showed up and was in the chat a little bit. So I guess, you know, that's that's more of in the pro-black sector, you know, the more, like, really into really into the pro-black sector. So I didn't know him and he and um, 
Angel up and up have had some back and forths and so, so forth. So he kind of wanted to, to highlight that. So that was pretty cool. But I've heard of him before. Yeah, yeah. No, I just thought that was really, really cool. You got the heavy hitters coming through. Let me find out. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh. And Will did a great job. Don't beat yourself up. You, you showed up. So, you know, there are a lot of people who have, you know, scheduled. Like the head, here it go. Free your mind.